Hi guys, welcome back to Rustic Cottage Studios. Today we are going to do a tutorial. I am going to turn this big, big, big <laughs> poster board or foam board into a photo prop. School is starting back next month. The summer is almost done and we're going to work. We are going to welcome back our seniors with a little photo area so they can take pictures for their last first day of school. So if you're ready to get started, join me in Cricut Design Space and let's get crafting. As you can see, I went ahead and got started on some of the designs that I wanted to put on our photo prop. And I want to show you real quick, because if you notice here, they are all grouped together. And what I did is because I want this to kind of pop, kind of like a, a 3D effect, I went ahead and grouped everything together. It's not going to cut together, obviously, but it is going to be grouped together. So what I want to do is I want to show you just by clicking, I, everything is like, everything is grouped, grouped, grouped. If you take a look over here on the right side of my screen, you'll notice I started out with the red star and then I did an offset in black and then I did another offset. I did offset, an offset of the offset in white and which gave me the three layers. They're not going to lay flat when I put them on my board and you will see that in just a few minutes. So that's how I got the stars. Senior was done at senior my last first day and our graduation cap were done exactly the same way using the offset key. The circles is two circles the exact, um, not the exact same, I'm sorry, it's the red circle is the big and then the white circle is just small enough that you can put the my last first day in the center of it this one is gonna this is gonna pop and then these two are gonna pop on top of it this is gonna pop on the red and the stars are gonna pop on that on the red as well so this will kind of senior will kind of be sticking off of it and it will only be attached to this white piece here and like I said you will see that in just a few minutes or in just a little bit after we're completely done and I get it all cut out and we're putting it together close this one and as far as the class of 2025 there's two ways you can do this and one way I hit it let me un unhide it over here one way is this way and this is probably going to be the way that I do this. You noticed here the difference between the two and I only did it on the class part. I, I didn't do it on the of part. But on this one the black is it's like a solid black piece. Whereas in this one that is still made out kind of like the word. So there's a little hole here in the word class where the C is. I played around with it because I kind of wanted to, to look like the 2025 where it was one solid black piece as you can see I slide it over that is one solid piece and I kind of wanted class of to match it but slide that back when I did it I'm not really keen on this big old black spot here I kind of like how it just looks like a big old outline better the of probably would have been okay because it's such a small little hole and I may go ahead and do that one so let me show you how I did it close this one up open this one up and you're going to grab the of uh, the offset black and you're going to grab a shape so come over to the left side of your screen grab a shape and I usually just do a circle you're going to bring it over here and notice that it's a different color and that's fine for now. Make sure that it's on there to where it doesn't go on the outside. It only stays on the inside. I want, okay, for this part, I have to ungroup. There we go. You're going to select just the black offset and the shape. You're going to come down here to combine the bottom right hand side of your screen and you're going to click weld and that's going to join them together and now it's one solid piece I'm going to highlight these and I'm actually going to take 
and move that one underneath. And then I'm going to come up here to align and I'm going to align with the center. And I just chose the one that says center at the bottom of a line before you get to distribute. And that puts it all together. And see, to me, this looks great with that, but I'm not really sure if I like it with that. I want to ungroup these. And then those two I can delete. I do not need those. I will keep both sections. I'm going to move this over. And one thing I do want to do, bring out the text. Edwardian Com Medium is the text that I used. And what I want to type in here I may have to do, I don't really like that H. I'm going to set that to the side. I have, I have an idea. I want to pull up our Stinger H. So PNG, so I'm going to pull it over here. I like the drag and drop feature. Let's see when I hit continue what this looks like when we get it on the board. All right, and it did erase the background as you can see. All the little checkered pieces means that this is all, should mean that this is all transparent. So apply, continue, and this is a single layer. This is just one color. So I'm just going to upload it that way. Definitely don't need it so big. Now, that one off, and this, I need to change that color. So we are dealing with three colors, red, white, and black. I do want to do an offset. So far, everything has been white, then red, then black. So I'm going to do, I don't want to do it with the white on the bottom simply because the background of my, um, let's go back to 22.5. I'm sorry, 0.25. The background or the photo prop is white. So we'll do red. So we'll take, click on the, on the right hand side, go to offset, click on the offset. So you're doing an offset of the offset apply and that one is going to be red oh I like that that looks good and we're going to do the words ham code the same way apply change that color to white come over here and grab that offset I almost feel like that probably should have been as but Let's see. I know I like that. Okay, I'm going to try. Let's try making the out offset just a little bit smaller. And this is where you can just play around with it to see what it's going to look like. I think that's a little too small though. Let's go back to 20. Leave it at 20. Change it to white. And then... Grab that offset of white, do an offset of the offset. I'm going to change that color to red. I want the red though to be, if I do it fuller though, I can do it fuller without making it bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete these two because I will get those confused. But I'm going to take this offset and just like we did before, Grab us a shape. This time I'm going to grab this shape. I'm not really sure what the shape is called, but I think yes. Perfect. Stretch it all the way across. It does not go out of the shape. Click combine, weld, bam. Bring it over here. I'm going to put that. Is that it right there? Yep. And then I'm going to highlight all three. Go to a line. Click center. We're going to group it. So that I, no matter where I move it, I got it. Now, important, important, important always. Once you get everything made, I want to group these. After we get everything made, 
then I will go in and check the measurements and make sure that everything is going to fit. The last thing I want to do is I want to do Trojans. So click on text again, bring your text over. It is on the right font. the offset to an offset at the offset now this is the last offset let's make it red because I want it to match Hamco white and I am going to actually ah, did not mean to grab that like that I am going to leave this one exactly how it is because to me that looks sharp. I like it. Only thing I see now is I want to close this little white spot. Yep. has to be completely ungrouped. This is going to be the fun part. Putting it back. Not there. They're perfect. Sometimes you can, and really, you don't really have to put it back on here unless you're just doing it so that you can see because once this gets cut it's it, it's um it is what it, it is where it is it's it's you have to piece it together yourself basically so let's group that all together perfect now other than when i make this the size that i want it to make sure it's the size that i want it then I'll need to have it all grouped together. So maybe you will need to group it together. Okay, so now we have everything looks like. Don't want to add anything else to it. So I'm going to get my measurements, make sure everything is exactly the size it needs to be, and then it's off to the Cricut to get cut. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. It was very fun to make, but very time consuming. It wasn't really hard. It was just time consuming because you had to put all the little pieces together. But it's huge, which is good because sometimes our seniors want to <laughs> want to take more than just one person in the photo, which is fine. But I did leave, see if I can lift this up, space at the bottom so that they can or I can put their names when after we take their pictures since they're going to go on the wall so everybody can see who our wonderful seniors are. Until next time, may God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.